Hello, I'm Shandor from Infotech Support Team. In the next video I will show you how easily you can administrate our Mizu Voice server using the Mizu Managed Client application. This software is Windows based like as the Mizu source switch. Let's start with the login form. You are required the following. Server address and port, database name, database username, and database password. These login details can be found in our email about your server details. In the left column you can find the forms of this software. Users and devices. Using this form you will be able to manage the users of the system. If you wish to use the Visual Server just for internal calls, you need to create end user accounts and they will be able to call each other for free. In case that you want to make calls to mobile landline numbers, you need to configure at least one carrier, I mean termination provider. On the MISU server for these purposes, we use the SIP server user type. For high amount of inbound traffic, you should use a traffic sender user instead of an end user. For example, if you will use DIP numbers, you will have to add your DIP provider as traffic sender. Now let me show you the users and devices for more detail. End users. Represents retail customers or SIP devices. End users are usually authenticated by SIP username and password, and the account can be either prepaid or postpaid. Username This is the most important field. It is used for authentication and also as a DID number. This field is unique and cannot be empty. The password is applicable everywhere, also on SIP and web interface. On the Functions tab you can set the features like Call Forward, Discord Notifications, Predefined Advertisement Playing or Voice Recording. On the Billing tab you can assign a price list to a user or by press, uh, pressing the Modify button you can add or remove credit. If you want to remove credit, type the desired value with minus sign. If you want to create a postpaid account, you need to check the is postpaid checkbox. The show details tab will list most of the important settings like database ID, parent ID, username, password, and so forth. At the analyze tab, you can view user statistics. Tip server. For outbound routing, you will have to add SIP server user type and set the routing properly. Usually, the authorization needs to be set as out IP must match. Traffic sender. For high amount of inbound traffic, you should use a traffic sender user instead of an end user. And uh, use IP uh, and use IP authentication instead of username password based authentication. If your traffic sender has more IPs, you can add them here. Uh, reseller. Resellers can manage their account to the web interface and can create their own tariffs. They can add other resellers or end users below their account. Sub end users. Represent SIP devices or call shop cabins. One end user can have multiple sub end user accounts. This means that when a sub end user makes a call, then the parent end user account is built. Okay. Routing. The routing in the middle source which means deciding on which active gateway should we route the incoming code from traffic senders and end users. For every time period and direction a routing pattern needs to be defined. Every routing pattern has a list of routing directories. Here you can add any SIP servers in priority order. 
Generic rules can be defined by setting the pattern priority lower. In color prefix you can place only one prefix. Text prefix can be an empty string, asterisk or three digit length number. Color prefix can be one prefix with any length or a list of prefixes with three or five digits separated by comma. The actual priority order of your root list this will be affected by numerous factors like failovering, load balancing, LCL or VRS. Failovering means that when a device or a direction is in failover state, then its priority is lower. Load balancing means we prioritize the direction where the last routed daytime is ordered. Only if the routing entries are entered with the same priority. LCR, list cost routing, means that the route with the lowest price will be prioritized. BRS, best route selection, the best quality and lower price route will be prioritized. A routing mode can define the root algorithm, root algorithm to be used for the root list when priority of the SIP server is the same. Examples For four India routing pattern, the cost to the to these directions will be routed to sign out SIP server. For form test one routing pattern, the calls from 111 end users will be routed to the GTS carrier. Every call that doesn't have a specific routing pattern defined will be routed to form the default routing pattern because its priority is lowest. Attention! Don't confuse the priority of the routing patterns and the priority of the SIP server. These are two different things. OK, let's talk about the billing. The pricing must be set here. The middle server has built-in prepaid and postpaid billing. Pricing of the CDR records are done after the prices defined on this form. You can define billing groups, all price settings that belong together after some logic. Below a billing group, you can have several price setups named packets. Here you have to set the actual prices. The price setup is further divided into different prefixes. The right column. Because it is very common that you have lots of directions in a provider price list. An alternative method to assign a price list to a user is by using the users and devices form from billing tab, billing packet settings. Here. This will always take precedence over the packet set in the price setup middle column. At the price setup, you should create at least two prices. One list with the end user prices and another with the provider prices. Importing price definitions from a file are done by clicking on the import from file button. The imported file must have two separate, two comma separated fields. The first is the prefix, direction definition, and the second, the rate. The easiest way to generate such, generate such files is to use Excel. Fill the first columns with these values and save a CSV file. Importing price files may take some time depending from your network connection speed. 
CDR record. The server will generate the detailed CDR record after each call. Uh, these CDRs are stored in the database TB underline CDR table. Thus the billing can work nearly real time. This is very important for prepaid systems. CDR records can be filtered, analyzed, exported, and lots, lots of data statistics are based on these records. If you will check the old fields, you will be able to see all the fields from TB underline CDR table. To view CDR from a time interval, you need to select custom option. Here. If you want to search for an end user related CDR, for example, uh, 5551, you need to check the extended search checkbox. And in this way, you will get the desired CDRs. The configurations. Here you can set the global system configuration. Basic configurations are vital for the systems to run correctly. If you want to change some global config option value, after you will have to press a reload from server console, because otherwise the changes will not have effect. Here is the server console. Press connect and then reload. OK. Here is the main menu of the MISO menu. At file, you can find the export import result. With this tool, you can import and export data from to a lot of data format. With the save as option, you can save any data to HTML, PSV, or text file. It's very useful, for example, when you want to save your CDRs from a time interval. At the configuration wizard, can be set the server basic configuration option. Here, you can find the server roles and the features, here your company details, here you can set the currency for example, uh, here you can find the network related options, IP, uh, signaling port, web portal port, and so forth. Here you can find the users and routing details. For example, here you can uh, set a prompt which will be played before your calls, maximum call duration, or your credited IVL prompt. Okay, after you will go to this config wizard at the end, you will have to press the finish. Thank you, thank you for your attention. This was our tutorial about Visual Manage client application. Have a nice evening.